Studio Bike Art and Streets is a brick and mortar shop that provides hands on experiences in plants and nature, food and beverage, wellness and interactive games. Yes. Right, joining us now with some wreath making tips and tricks is founder Jen Goulstone. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having this us. This is such a fun activity that you can do with, with everyone, absolutely. young and old, yes. you know, male, female, and it leaves nasty memories. It absolutely does. And you can also work on it together as mm -hmm. a family. And and when you have this hanging up on your front door and everybody yeah. loves it and say, where did you get it? You say, I made this. You know, people really, really remember that and you get such satisfaction from it. What I love all is season that long. all you do is show up and then you have everything that people it's need. It's all laid out. We yeah. clean up the mess. That's amazing. <laughs> all right, so we're making and two different kinds. We got a right. real one and a, and a twig well, one. Well, they're and all real. This one is the evergreen wreath. So the base Ooh, yeah. is this so beautiful, so noble good. fur. So this yeah. is the smell of yeah, holiday. Really and then the other one we're going to do is this grapevine wreath. So, so it has a different look. This is also better for indoors, whereas this is better for outdoors. So oh. the cooler weather will help it stay fresh for longer. Oh, okay. If there you go. put this indoors, it will shed all over and you probably don't want <laughs> okay. that. But this will not. Some okay. plants do different things when they're, when they're dried and these guys stay on. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these. We did a little bit of prep in advance. Okay. So the main technique is that whatever work looks good works. Oh, so okay. There's only, there's really no wrong way to do it. Um, I'm gonna get you started here with three different, we call these clusters of little bouquets. Okay. And we're just gonna go along with the oh, foliage. Yep. Okay. Yep. And you're gonna tuck it in and find a spot that works. So if you can okay. spread it around, fine. So imagine a clock, you're dividing it by thirds. Yeah. Oh, and okay. that's the position you're gonna have them. And there's no risk involved because you could always switch the locations. Okay. And then for you here, I'm gonna have you start with two big pieces okay one on each side they're almost like bunny ears she's gonna have them oh up. funny okay yep and then we're gonna build outward from large pieces to in inside to small pieces okay is that that kind of the tip too to yes, start big and go exactly. smaller okay start big oh. and go smaller and you can always try it out before you zip it tight oh, okay. okay zip tie, zip is, the tie key. Okay. is the tool that we love okay um so you want the flat side facing up that's the direction that it's gonna go in okay um uh, sometimes i forget i was like oh why is it not zipping it's because it's the wrong direction oh, wait. okay so, so you want to make sure it's, it's anchored to something that's pretty stable. You're just gonna find a nice branch underneath okay. and then you're gonna connect it and zip it and we can cut it. Oh, okay. And that's a very easy way. So you're not struggling with wire trying to go back and forth in a loop. Yeah. Okay. This okay. So is obviously you should figure out where you want it to be that's right. before you zip tie it. Because yes, it's like trying to go the other way around. There okay. you go. All right. And then okay. you that's great. Thank you. You got it. Okay, so, you know, sometimes you want to add a little color to it, yes. though, just to make it pop a little bit. Yeah. So what do you suggest for that? There's a lot of options. I have actually a couple of different options right here. I made these for you with the oh, beautiful apples. So you can intersperse this along with that. And ribbons is another great way of oh, bringing so color. Yeah. So here I brought three different styles. You can let me know which ones you like. This is a beautiful plaid. Yeah. Yep. And then if you want something that's a little bit more natural, can't go wrong with burlap. Yeah. You really yeah. can't go wrong with this. And then for for the seasons, bright, bright red, you That's can also so have cute. a little pop Ooh, as well. Yeah. But That's honestly, so whatever you like, yeah, here we go. That's really cute. We, go. we have the wire in the back and you can just Oh, that's it. easy. Okay, but great. Before you put that on, I have two more pieces oh, sorry. for okay. you. Okay. And we're gonna bring it in. So these two are slightly smaller and okay. we're gonna work our way in towards the middle and your bow is gonna be your center piece. Got right. it, Can okay. you do like off-centered a little bit too, if you want oh, to? Oh, yeah. No, that's a great idea, actually. Um, for this wreath, I'll give you an idea. You can hang it straight up and down like this or you could just go a little, oh, little bit. You can oh, yeah. like that too. I like that. that also works. For the evergreen, because it's already all nice and round, you can apply the same design from the grapevine onto the evergreen as well. But right now, we're just going to go symmetrical for you. Okay, okay. I like this. Great. And then this one is just the bow at the bottom, essentially. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Right. That's so right. I could just leave this like this. You're, you could. you're mostly done there. So for you, if you want to just pick a ribbon. I like red. Or a bright, bow, bright red. Bright red, yeah. yeah. That's Can't beautiful. Go wrong. Yeah, so easy. And I want to mention for our holiday activities, we're also that's making so chunky knit stockings. That is so, so cute. You can make them. Oh, we yes. make these in our workshops along with chunky knit blankets. It's such a great activity. Do you We've have had, to know how to knit before you, you come in there? 
do not. Actually, you don't need Spin use it, any right? needle. Yeah, you just pull it through. It's so easy and very therapeutic once you get going. And if people don't get a chance to get out to you by the, for the holidays, this is something you guys are continue going past We're the first year. We're doing that past the first year. As long as it's cold, yep. we're going to be doing chunky knit blankets. I love oh, okay. Yeah. And, and of course, if people are just not into the DIY, they can buy these, right? They can buy uh -huh. these <laughs> <laughs> for a limited time only. Um, we also, around the holiday, uh, in the springtime, we also make beautiful flowers. Ooh, you think oh, about is that origami? Val it is origami. Oh, That's exactly fun. right. Isn't it cool. so beautiful? Yeah, if you um, want to check it out yourself, New City Plaza in Lincoln Park is where you can find Studio by Garden Streets. You can get more information on the pop-ups, all these classes that you can take on the website and the social media handles. Thank okay, you so much for being here. Yeah, oh, yeah, what I came look. up with. Oh, that is pretty. Hey. I like this. Yes. Yeah, no